right, I'm sitting here with uh, Hecky Butler. We caught up three weeks ago to announce your fights, and now you've got uh, the fights a couple of weeks away. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling strong. Um, yeah, Sunday is, I think, 14 days, if I have it right. Um, yeah, feeling good, feeling strong. Been sparring hard, so yeah, feeling ready. And you, you're traveling out nine days early, per the article I read. Uh, are you ready to, to leave already? Um, yeah, everything's good. With my wife, everything gets done before the time. You know her personally, she, she packs everything and gets everything ready. Um, so yeah, I'm ready, I'm mentally ready. Going through a bit of stuff at home with my dad, my mom, it's a bit sick, but otherwise I'm ready, I can't wait. And, uh, you got a DJ coming with you as well, so you're going to have some companionship uh, with, a, with, a, with one of the sparring partners you have, uh, important that he comes with? Yeah, it's nice. Um, me and DJ have connected for, for years, I've known him for years, him and my wife come a long way as well, so we're very close, um, and he's been there, he's been in that environment as well. Um, and he's one of those guys that will he'll get up at three to run with me if I have to. That's the type of person he is. He'll do those things and he'll push me. And like I said, he's been helping with sparring, so he'll be there helping with my tactics, helping with everything that he can. So you're no stranger to overseas conditions. This is going to be a new country in terms of professional boxing for you. Um, how do you think Mexico is going to go for you? God, 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 no, God willing, well, <laughs> the environment and everything. Um, I like, I like new, new experiences, so it's a good thing. And I like to prove myself in other people's backgrounds or backyards, whatever you say. So, yeah, it's going to be fun and exciting. So, it's a good fight because, I mean, he's a known boxer. You know, a lot of the boxers that are coming up are, you know, exposed really well, especially him. He's a former world champion. I mean, you're a former world champion. It's a bigger fight than perhaps just an eliminator. Yeah, big time. Um, like, they, they are saying as well, he's, if he doesn't want to lose two in a row, I'm coming close to where a lot of fighters give up when they start retiring at my age. So I have to see what I still have left. He has to see if he can still make it. So it's quite an interesting fight. So obviously he's motivated to you know, not catch a second loss. What's your motivation in this one? To win another world title, to, to unify again, get my other belts back, and hopefully, God willing, win the WBO as well. I want to be at least a champion in every division once. So well, every organization. And, uh, it's never been done before by a South African boxer, right? I have no idea, actually, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think it has. I know that you're only the second to win the Ring Magazine title, so, I mean, that was already your part in history, but I don't think anyone's ever unified all the titles. Yeah, it will be quite hard, especially in our weight divisions with all the promoters out there and the guys are working together. But, yeah, God willing, things can, can go the right way and it can work. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe you can't hold them all at the same time. Maybe you can just win them individually. Would that make you happy just to get your hands on this WBC title uh, get, once you obviously got to get through Elwin Soto? Yeah, most definitely. I'm not sure. I've always wanted to win at least every belt once. But yeah, I'm not looking over this guy. This Soto is extremely good, extremely hard punch, extremely strong, strong guy, ex-world champ. So it's going to be a tough and hard fight. Yeah, so you mentioned it's going to be a tough and hard fight. What are the, so for the South African fans out there who need to just do some homework on Elwin Soto, what's, what's great about him? He hits hard from the first round to the last, probably the hardest punch in the division, I think. And he's extremely strong. He comes to fight every time. He's he, he, very young compared to me. But yeah, I'll be ready and I'm focused. Yeah, so the, the, I mean, Alwyn, Mexico, his home ground. Are you going to have to work just that extra bit harder just to get the, if, if it does go to points? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I'm going to have to show the judges every time that I'm winning the rounds. It's always a bit harder. I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want. What happened in the Philippines happened to me again. Um, I want to win clearly and, and show them that I really do win. I want even his crowd to see that I win. But it's going to be tough most definitely, but I'll be ready. So to give the people at home some perspective, what happened in the Philippines, you fought Milan Belindo. You quite clearly won the fight to anyone that watched from anywhere around the world and um, you ended up losing on a split decision. Does that still like haunt you to this day? No, um, everything happens for a reason. I lost that fight to, to fight for three world titles in one night. So... I was blessed with that fight that I lost, and it happened for a good reason. It happened for a good reason. I mean, yeah, so you got all the belts at home, you, you're happy, but you're not content. I can tell because you said you want to win them all. So this fight's, I mean, how's that preparation gone for you? Has it been like this world title preparation? Yeah, most definitely. I've been focused full out for the fight. I've um, been working hard. It's going to be a hard, tough fight, but I'll be ready for it. I've, I've been, been working very hard for this, honestly. I've been training for more than a year now to get ready for this. So I believe I'm ready, and I'll be ready. How many times have you gone to, you know, an away country and been booed and, you know, those sort of things? I can't imagine that happened in Japan or did it? Uh, it's happened in a few places. Japan just a bit, not so much. Japan, they're more, respect, more respectful. It's quite weird. Um, but it's happened a few times. You, you get used to it. it. It pumps you up, so it's, it's fine by me. 
So you use it as a, a fuel motivation? Yeah, most definitely. All right. So is there anything that's changed about you going into this car? I know you don't want to give away, like we're not talking game plans. I mean, just talking about you as a boxer, is there anything that's changed? I think I've matured more. Um, I've had a long break as well because of COVID and me and Colin have been talking a lot. I've been watching a lot of my old fights and trying to, to improve myself and I feel strong. I feel better and I believe I'm, I'm better, better off for it. You got a chance, I think it was last year, to shake off the rust against uh, Jonathan Elmerson. You got all those valuable rounds in. You came out strong towards the end of the fight. So you want to sort of take that momentum going into this one? Yeah, most definitely. I needed that fight. I really did to get back into it. I mean, he was a, he's, a, he's a good, strong guy. Actually, a very nice person as well. We're close friends now. Um, so yeah, I needed that to, to get the, the ring rust out of the way and to get back into it. Are you follow, following uh, Elmerson's career now? Yeah, I think he's had two or three fights since we fought last. I haven't had one. Um, but yeah, it's, he's a very nice guy. Always asks me how I'm, uh, my family is, how I am. Um, yeah, so he's doing well that side. I'm happy for him. He's training. Always puts his training videos on, so it's good. Um, yeah, but we're, we're close friends, and I'm following and seeing what he's doing. Right, and going to Mexico, you've got the A team as well. You've got uh, Colin Nathan. You've got Bernie Pellman, who you've He's been in a lot of your fights as well as a cut man. Important to have Bernie on this trip as well? Yeah, most definitely. He knows the ins and outs of what I do and how we do it in camp. And he's because he's been with us so many times. So yeah, it's very important. Um, and I like his energy. He's got a good energy around you. And that's what we need. Got a very experienced, and you very experienced going all over the world as well. What's your actual prediction for this fight? Heki Butler with a win. Okay. I knew I was going to get that. I just had to ask it anyway. If, um, but uh, Heki Butler by win. Close fights? Probably in Mexico it will be a close fight, but I want to win convincingly, if that makes sense. Yeah. All right, that makes 100%. So you have to always when you go. I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. Hex, uh, anything lastly from you? Any thank yous, any shout outs? Uh, just to, to all my sponsors, all my fans, everybody out there, to you for always keeping the this, keeping this sport up. Um, watch the fight, guys. It will be shown on Supersport, I'm sure of it. Um, take care and God bless.